Hey, good morning, Joe. A couple of things. Um, it's Monday. That your question is is good. Um, I'm trying to make sure that I understand it completely, and where to start. Um, I, I've got a template plan here, uh, right? This is, I begin every plan with this plan, and it has saved elevation cameras. <clears throat> it has saved section cameras, ready to implement when uh, as the plan evolves, right? And right now, here's a section camera here, and it lives outside of the plan for now. And it looks like this. These are, these are details that I use, notes and stuff that I use consistently, right? Saved in the template plan. I'll change the detail notes. Uh, half inch drywall, pretty common here. R15, R30, etc. I don't use this very often, but it's got details and stuff on it that I can use, I can pull. And these are just pictures, right? These are just pictures that Chief uh, generates that you can use and pull somewhere else if you like to. So this is section A, and it lives off of the plan for now, but it's set up in the template under the parameters I have set up for it, right? So let's say I want to cut a section through here, back clip, cross section through here. Now, moved it into the plans, and now it looks like this. With the stuff in the section set, with the stuff that I want displayed. I don't want everything displayed, but it has the things I want displayed in this custom layer set that I've set up for my sections. It doesn't have to be custom. You can use Chief's default, which I believe is this one. You can use this one for sure. You just have to have all the stuff on that you want in this section set. I can see this is going to get complex here pretty quick. And I have a custom one just because I like that. I like to set up my own stuff. And the way this gets pointed to your custom layer set is up here in defaults. Camera tools. This is a back clip cross section, right? You edit this and in the selected defaults, I'm pointing it to this layer set called section set. And then I've defined the section set accordingly. So you can point your sections anywhere you want here by defining uh, specific section sets. And in those section sets, you can display whatever you want and you can have them in your default plan set set up however you want. So each one of these sections, I don't pull into the plan until the plan's done. And I just, I'm really weak on sections, man, because I think it's the, the more complicated aspect of any plan development, and my laziness kind of shows sometimes. So what is this? this is section, this is section C. And you can see I've got a bunch of notes in here in my default plan set. Again, my template plan set. So again, these notes and stuff are consistent. There's actually, usually there's a roof slope on here too that I'll set up. But again, I don't use this very often, but I use all the notes and stuff, right? I'll take this bad boy here and, and just, you know, move it to the, uh, you know, to give us some shear transfer on this on this hip right here, change the detail note to where, where it goes, and this section will begin to take, take shape. And this one down here, same thing, right? This is super common. This will always be some kind of exterior footing detail from the engineer or from my own detail set. So this is set up in the plan template via the defaults up here. Uh, the chances of you following this are pretty slim, I think, because it's so personalized. Oh, look, for some reason, that's an elevation set. Why is that? What did I just do? Was that this one? I'm not sure what I had just, I'm not sure what I clicked. Well, that's this, that's this one here. These are my elevations. They're all set up with an elevation set. And in the cameras, you can see my cameras. I've got a front elevation, left, rear, right, and sections A through D all set up as defaults in here. And these will change. This is a, uh, obviously I start with a box in my template plan, but these are all, all of my sections and all of my elevations 
are set up as defaults. Okay, look at this one, D. It doesn't have a plan in it because I have not set D to the involved or section any of the plan yet. As soon as I do this, section D will now have that part, part of the plan cross-sectioned. So all of this can be taken care of. You can see this one, I have this back clip. You can see it was short, right? Didn't include that there. So all of this can be set up in your initial plan template. Now for me, I don't know about you guys. Uh, let's say I'm going to save this as my new uh, template. This scares the crap out of me. I don't understand this, man. I Because my templates, I live and die and breathe with my templates. And if somehow I delete something in my template, I'm so screwed. I don't even know what all this stuff means. I don't even look. Uh, more power to you if you're comfortable by just unchecking this. But I don't delete anything, man. It just scares crap out of me. Then I set it as a default for Imperial Plans. And it's in my, this is the way I do it, right? And now this is my default. This is my default new plan when I go to File, New Plan. It should look exactly like, this is actually a new plan. It looks exactly like the one I saved, right? So all of this stuff can be set up in your plan template every one of these things uh, um, cross sections with all the detail you like again all the wording that you like in a cross section all the details all the notes all of that stuff can be set up in your plan templates a little bit takes a bit of work you can copy paste all this stuff from one to the other too and remember these are just pictures you know whenever you auto fill i think that's what it's called right whenever you auto fill um, don't worry about it. you got to have your layers on, right? These are just pictures that Chief creates. Just CAD, just p pictures. So they can, you know, they'll move and they'll come and go. Uh, I'm not sure that helps or if that's part of the scope of this um, video. But anyway, again, back to here in your plan template, you can set up your cross sections, back clip cross sections, and your elevations. Here's an elevation set up, right? It looks like this. And when I, by the time this plan gets modified, by the time this plan gets changed in whatever form, that elevation is going to show, obviously. That elevation is going to show any change that I make in here in the elevation. So by the time this plan gets buffed out, all of the elevations and everything else are going to change. Let's see, let's try this elevation down here. All the elevations will change as the plan develops and they get sent to layout accordingly. So that's pretty long winded and it's very personalized. It may or may not help you again because of the complexity of each and every one of us as users. But to answer your question, and this is follow ups on CHOP's uh, advice too, right? That you can set up a template file that has all of your sections and all your elevations all ready to go. Uh, all ready to go, no matter how you how you want to proceed. Oh, and then uh, look, since I have this set up as default, I can now cut a black back clipped cross section through just this area if I want. Hello, <laughs> if I can. And it's look, it's now set up to the section set, and it's showing just that set there because I've set that up in my default camera tools cross-section elevation, back clip cross-section, sorry, as that sex, custom section set layer set. Again, pretty wordy, pretty complicated. And the only way to start with this kind of stuff is at the beginning. Just set up one section the way you like it, save it to your template. And like I say, that delete all thing scares crap out of me. I don't know how, I'm, more power to you for getting that to work. Um, so anyway, hope that helps, man. Pretty complicated and long-winded. But again, hope it helps, man. See ya.